Hey there Raiders fan from 7 I'm going to show you how you can set up your X360 key to work on your FAT or some Xbox. Now the first thing you want to do when you get your key is take the SD card and put it in your computer. When you open it up, you're going to notice all these random files that you're going to get. Now you can't open any of them, can't run any of them, don't worry about it. First thing you're going to want to do though is make a backup of the SD card just in case you break it somehow. You'll have a backup of your key. Okay, man, back up. Now, what you want to do is get the dump of your DVD drive. Now, if it's a fat Xbox, you're going to need to name it firmware.bin. If it's a slim Xbox, you're going to have to name it dummy.bin. All you got to do is grab your firmware, pull it right to the root of your SD card. Now, to do, update the X360 key, uh, go to the official website and download the newest update there is. Here's this right here. All you're going to do is replace the root FS in the UI image or the U image. Okay. So you delete the two that are on the card. Replace them with the updated ones. And just like that, we updated the X key. Now, to play games though on your external hard drive or USB, I must put the game sensor directory. So, here's the root of my external hard drive. I need to name the folder games, and you put all the ISOs in there. Now, from here, you can make other folders like so and pull games into there, but the first folder has to be called games. And that's how you do it, just ISO, you don't need a .db file. Now I'll take you over to the Xbox and show you how to set everything up. Okay, so here are the contents that you'll get when you order the key. This right here is remote, save cable, power cable, key itself, micro SD adapter with the micro SD, and this will power the remote right here. First thing you have to do, is get the micro SD into the key. Okay. This little metal case right here, that's where it's going to go. And you can't just slide the key in there, it won't fit that way, it won't work. What you do is you take the case, pull down on it, and it'll open up just like that. Place the SD card in there, there's going to be a little groove. Close it up, push up, and there you go. Now, the first things you want to plug in are going to be the power cords. This one right here inside the Xbox, go on and plug it into the left side, the outer side, as I'm holding it. Okay. Now, the one that it comes with, go on and plug it into the right side. There you go. Next thing is going to be the power cord or the save cord. The one inside the Xbox is going to be plugged in on this upper part. Now, the one it comes with, using the curved side, go and plug it into the opposite or the last remaining area. Now, to plug in the DVD drive, go and do the power cord first, then the other cable. Okay. The other cable, you're going to have to flip upside down for it to fit in. So now there you go. Now move over the key. Of course, kind of like this in the back of the end case. That's the same setup for the slim also. So nothing is different here. Careful with the DVD drive. You don't want to mess up your key. It'll fit just like that. Okay. Let's 
cable right here. There's gonna be a little notch on our belly of the key. Plug it right in there. And there you go. That's the hardest part of getting this hooked up. This cable now plugs into the kits or the remote. And there you go. Last remaining USB slot. It's going to be your USB or your external hard drive. Take it set up. Now you just got to plug it in and get to work.